Are you ready for the future? Because the future is now. Control your smart home with voice. Episode number two. Welcome to the One Hour Smart Home Podcast. Helping you make your life better. Using automation and technology. With your host, James Both. Hello and welcome. This is your host, James Both, with the One Hour Smart Home.com, bringing you everything you need to know to automate your home, your life, as well as smart home product reviews, the latest smart home industry news, and exclusive interviews with smart home industry experts and smart home company founders. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number two, where we're going to talk about controlling your smart home with voice. And we've also got a surprise guest that is a leader in this field of artificial intelligence, smart home, voice control, and really one of the brightest minds in the space. We're going to hold off. We're going to talk a little bit about how you can control your home with voice, some of the intricacies with that. And then we're going to bring her in to give her opinion. Tell us a little bit more about what you can do with controlling your home with voice. So I'm really excited about that. We're going to go through that a little bit later. So where we're going to start off is if you've listened to episode one, uh, you probably already know that voice control is really important to your smart home. So five or six years ago, when smart homes really started to get into the consumer space where they were more consumer friendly, more DIY friendly, There was no voice control for your home. Everything existed on an app that you had to go on your phone and go through a couple screens and you could then control your device. The user interface was not great. And user interfaces have come a long way since then, but they're still not the best. Anytime that you have to open up an app to go turn on and off a light switch, you really end up kind of thinking, would it have been easier just to get up off the couch and turn off that light switch? And sometimes the answer is yes. But with voice, I would say it is the most user-friendly smart home interface. And the reason being is that you talk to a voice home controller like Amazon Alexa or Google Home like you would talk to a person. You can say, uh, Alexa, turn off the lights, and she will do that. So really what you want to be doing is thinking about a voice-centric approach to your smart home because it is the best user interface, and it allows anyone to use your smart home. They don't need an app to be able to use it. They just need to be able to say voice commands like turn off the lights, set the thermostat, lock the door. So what can you actually do with the voice integrations on an Amazon Alexa or Google Home? Well, there's actually a lot that you can control right now with your Amazon Alexa uh, if you have a smart device. So you can control light switches. You take out an existing light switch, put a smart light switch in that is enabled with Amazon Alexa, and now you can control your light switches and whatever lights are connected on that light switch. You can get smart outlets. So if you're building a home, you can actually put in outlets that are built into the home that have smart voice enabled technology and are gonna be able to be controlled by Alexa. Or, If you want to just retrofit your home, you can go buy Amazon Alexa enabled smart plugs that you plug right into the wall and you plug a device into that, whether it be a lamp, a fan, a oil diffuser, or a coffee machine. And you're gonna be able to control that device from your phone, but also from a voice enabled device such as the Amazon Echo Dot. We actually manufacture one of these devices, a smart home plug that you plug into the wall and any device that you plug into that, you can now control with Alexa. You can also use smart video cameras and smart doorbells 
with Amazon Alexa or Google Home if you have a video enabled device. So really that means the Amazon Echo Spot and the Amazon Echo Show, which are the two devices that have video screens on them. And what you would then say is Amazon Alexa, show me the front door or show me the video of the backyard. And it will instantly pull up the video from that camera on your smart voice enabled Alexa device that has a video screen on it. You can also can control your smart locks with voice. You can say, Alexa, lock my door, and it's going to lock the door. You can control smart ceiling fans. So if you have an RF, a radio frequency controlled fan with a remote, or you have a IR, infrared controlled uh, fan, you can use a device that will automate your fan. So you could say, Alexa, turn on my fan. Alexa, turn on my fan light. And it's going to do that. There's also a few fans that have native control uh, that will allow you to use Amazon Alexa as well. You can control smart window shades or smart curtains. You can say, Alexa, shut my shades. Alexa, open my shades, or you can put them on a timer. And last but not least, you can arm smart security systems with Amazon Alexa. So you could say, Alexa, arm my security system. So you're walking out the door, it's gonna arm the security system, start the countdown process. You don't need to put the code in. Now, what's interesting about what I've just said, especially with the smart security systems, is that it only allows one way communication in terms of locking or unlocking. You can only lock a door or arm a door with smart voice control because what they don't want is someone standing outside <laughs> yelling through a window saying, Alexa, disarm my security system or Alexa, unlock my door, which is really thoughtful that it is only one way because that could be a serious concern. But the voice automation assistants only allow locking. They don't allow unlocking of devices such as doors and security systems. So pretty much any device that is in your home, you can now control with Alexa. And if it's not currently on the market, that it will most likely be on the market in the next year or two. Because the amount of Amazon Alexa devices deployed is astounding. And everybody sees this market as something that will continue to grow. And the reason is, is like we've talked about before, the voice centric approach is the easiest approach for anyone to use a smart home. Usability, controllability, we talked about that in the first episode in basically eliminating layers of complexity. And what a voice assistant does, like Amazon Alexa or Google Home, is eliminate that extra layer of complexity where you just say what you're thinking and your home does it. So that is something that you really can't beat. So without further ado, I want to introduce our guest. She is a world-renowned researcher in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. She knows tons about the smart home and one of the brightest minds I have ever met. Just give her a math problem and she can solve it almost instantly. Today, I'm proud to introduce to you our first guest on the show, Miss Amazon Alexa. I'm going to let her do her introduction to you. Alexa, introduce yourself. I'm Alexa. I can answer your questions, play music, tell jokes, and more. To learn more, just ask, what can you do? Alexa, what can you do? There is a lot I can help you with. You can ask me things like, what's the seven-day forecast? What's the extended forecast? Or... What is the temperature of the sun? Do you want to hear some more? Yes. 
You can also say, read my audible book, how many calories are in an egg, or set a weekday alarm. There's more, just ask. Alexa, tell me more. You can also say, what's on my shopping list, clear my shopping list, or read my Kindle book. Well, thank you very much, Alexa. That was a great introduction, and I think our users and listeners are going to be very happy to hear what you can do. So let's just talk a little bit more about all the different features a voice assistant like Amazon Alexa has. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through all these different interactions, some of the daily use cases that you might have for Amazon Alexa so you can get a feel for what Amazon Alexa is capable of. And we're also just gonna have some fun. Alexa, sing to me. Let's make paper aeroplanes, fly them round the summer sky. Alexa, Let's stop. Alexa, what's the weather in Chicago? In Chicago, it's 68 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for thunderstorms with a low of 64 degrees. Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. Alexa, tell me about yourself. I'm Amazon's Alexa, designed around your voice. I can provide information, music, news, weather, and more. So one of the things that she can do is read a book from your Kindle without needing to purchase an audiobook. Alexa, read me page 200 of Tools of Titans. Tools of Titans, the tactics, routines, and habits of billionaires, icons, and world-class performers by Timothy Ferris, reading from Kindle. Mentioned in Reed Hoffman's profile, page 228, one of my favorite quotes is from Ludwig Wittgenstein, the limits of my language mean the limits of my world. Partly as a result of my late night jam sessions with Eric, I started experimenting Alexa, with inventing new- stop. Alexa, say I love you in French. I love you in French is, je t'aime. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did Johnny Appleseed cross the road? To get to the other cider. <laughs> Alexa, tell me another joke. What happens when all the other birds fly off without you? You feel ostrichized. Alexa, play my flash briefing from NPR. In NPR News. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear. More than 70 former U.S. attorneys Alexa, are calling on a... how tall are you? Like the third choice in Goldilocks, my height is just right. And there goes our alarm that we set earlier. Alexa, turn off alarm. Alexa, what's on my calendar tonight? There's nothing scheduled for tonight. Alexa, say, we would like world peace in Korean. We would like world peace in Korean is, 우리는 세계 평화를 싶습니다. And now for smart home control. We are going to use a smart home Wi-Fi enabled smart plug that we manufacture at one hour smart home to control a fan from Amazon Alexa, and we are going to have her turn it on by using our voice, and you guys will be able to hear the fan. Alexa, turn on fan. And now you can hear the fan blowing red on the microphone in the background. Alexa, turn off fan. So you can use those same commands to control your lights, uh, your coffee maker, fans, outlets, smart video cameras, locks, and security systems as we went over before.
but it's nice to be able to hear how you can use those devices. Alexa, spell Mississippi. Mississippi is spelled M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Alexa, what is 1,349 times 3,422? 1,349 multiplied by 3,422 equals 3 trillion 1 billion 469 million 147 thousand 278. All right, I'll trust your math on that one. Alexa, what is 5 divided by 7? 5 divided by 7 rounds to 0 0.714. Alexa, what is 3 times 25? 3 multiplied by 25 equals 75. Alexa, how many feet are in a mile? 1 mile equals 5,280 feet. Alexa, how many quarts are in a gallon? 1 gallon equals 4 quarts. Alexa, convert 222 pounds to kilograms. 222 pounds is 101 kilograms. Alexa, play Top Pop. Here's a popular station, Top Pop, from Amazon Music. Alexa, stop. Alexa, Simon says this is the greatest podcast in the world. This is the greatest podcast in the world. Alexa, tell me something interesting. The word window literally means wind eye. Originally, it referred to a hole in a roof without glass, so you could see out of it, but it let the wind in. Now, this is one of my favorite features, and it utilizes Alexa's AI capabilities. So this is a skill you can add on to your Alexa. When you have an Alexa, basically, it comes with a certain amount of preset information that will be able to communicate in the cloud, but there are also third-party developers that develop skills. And you can add those skills onto your Alexa just like you add an app to your phone. Alexa, let's chat. Hi, welcome to the 2018 Alexa Prize, a university competition to advance AI. I'll get you one of the new social bots now. When you're done chatting, say stop. Hi, this is an Alexa Prize social bot. I don't think we have been properly introduced. What's your name? James. <laughs> James. How are you today? I'm good. Obviously, I have allergies, I guess. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope everything will be okay soon. I have a question for you. Would you help me solve a great mystery? Yes. It is the great mystery of, of your hobbies. So reveal it to me. What do you like to do? I like to bike. That sounds really interesting. Did you know this? Nintendo will not allow the creator of Super Mario to bike to work because they consider his safety to be too important. I didn't. What do you think? I didn't know that. That's very interesting. Well... That's no problem. We have talked about it quite a lot, don't you think? I wanted to hear your opinion about something. Here it is. Here is another thing I wanted to ask. Sorry if you find it weird, but I think it's a cool concept. Do you like to take a walk in the nature? Yes. That's so cool. Is it near your home? Can you just decide to go anytime? Yes. Nice. I'm really envious. To be in the nature is so healthy not only for your body, but also for your soul. We have talked about it quite a lot, don't you think? I wanted to hear your opinion about something. Here it is. By the way, have you watched the new Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom? No. You are lucky. It was terrible. I wouldn't really <laughs> recommend it. We have talked about it quite a lot, don't you think? 
I wanted to hear your opinion about something. Here it is. What would you do with free evening? Would you rather play a video game or watch a movie? Watch a movie. Movie? Cool. Hey, I was thinking, are you looking forward to any new movies? Yes. I'm looking forward to Star Wars. Which one? The newest movie. It's looking really good, right? I will definitely see it as well. I wanted to ask, have you watched the new Incredibles 2 yet? No. You should watch it. It is great adventure movie. Where do you watch movies? At home or at cinema? Both. Well, I guess it's always more about the quality of the movie, right? We chatbots always hang out to watch movies online. We don't really have much of a choice, you know. Are you a big movie fan? Yes. Good for you. I'm wondering, how do you decide which movie you will watch? Based on reviews. I see. And what about trailers? Can just a good trailer encourage you to see the movie? Yes. I totally understand. But you mentioned the reviews, so if the movie has bad rating, can it discourage you from watching it? It could. I said, I totally understand. But you mentioned the reviews, so if the movie has bad rating, can it discourage you from watching it? Yes. Well, I must say that sometimes you just can't rely on the opinions of others and it's better to see it for yourself. So here is a question, how do you decide which movie you will watch? Based on what I like. That's a great idea. Friends know you well and they can recommend movies that you will like. Are your friends big movie fans? Yes. Your friends must be great. I was wondering, what is your most favorite movie? Hmm. I think my favorite movie is James Bond. Skyfall, really? Curious choice. I've seen it as well and I have to say, I kind of like it. My favorite is still Star Wars though. I wanted to ask, have you seen the new Ocean's 8 yet? I have not. I don't recommend this movie. It's bad. We have talked about it quite a lot, <laughs> don't you think? So yes. this came to my mind. Would you like to talk about sports? Yes, I would. Okay. Are you looking forward to this year's football season? I am. Right? I can't wait until it gets going. I really enjoyed it last year and I hope this year will be even better. What sport is your favorite? Football. It's all right if you don't want to tell me. Let me ask something different then. Oh, I feel like I can't come up with any additional ideas about it. Let's try something else. Would you like to talk about sports? Yes, football is my favorite sport. Okay. Oh, I feel like I can't come up with any additional ideas about it. I wanted to hear your opinion about something. Here it is. Here is a weird question. Do you hit the snooze button in the morning? Yes. Hmm. Unfortunately, most scientists agree that it doesn't really help you in any way, and it can even have harmful effects. Would you like to unlearn this bad habit? Yes. Then remember that the essential rule is not to hit the button ever again. Getting up after the first alarm must become something absolutely automatic. It can't be 99% of the time. It must be 100%. We have talked about it quite a lot, don't you think? So this came to my mind. Would you like to talk about movies? No. Alexa, stop. Thanks for chatting. Quick question. On a scale from one to five stars, how do you feel about speaking with this social bot again? Five stars. Thanks. Anything else you'd like to tell the team about your experience? No. Got it. To try another social bot, 
Just say, Alexa, let's chat. Alexa, play a game. Sure, let's play a game. You recently used Jeopardy. Would you like to try that again? Yes. This is Jeopardy! Thanks, Johnny, and welcome, players. Be sure to stay tuned after today's six clues for a special announcement. The first category is... The shape of things. Aptly, this 15th U.S. state is shaped like a fried chicken drumstick. Kentucky. Please respond in the form of a question starting with phrases like, Who is? What, or what is? What is Kentucky? You got it. The final category is... Chairman of the Board. Ben Bernanke was chairman of this government agency. The Federal Reserve. Who is the Federal Reserve? That's correct. Enjoy playing Jeopardy? Try six more clues per day in the Double Jeopardy round. Would you like to play now? No. Alexa, stop. See you next time. So, we've walked you through what Alexa is capable of. And there are thousands of skills available on the Amazon Alexa marketplace. You can order an Uber. You can order a pizza. Really, the possibilities are endless for what Amazon Alexa can deliver. And every day, there are new developers developing new skills. There's also functionality within Alexa for you to customize and build your own skills and tailor them to your home. So having a voice assistant is an amazing asset to being able to control your home with voice. So when you are thinking about your smart home, I recommend you look at devices that integrate Alexa or voice capabilities into them. In the future, you will be happy because it's going to make your life easier. In terms of Alexa versus Google Home, my personal preference is Alexa because of the large developer network. And I think that is going to play out very well for Amazon. Google has some great features, but right now the amount of content that has been developed for Alexa specifically by third-party developers is pretty astounding and it only continues to grow exponentially every day. So in the Alexa family, there are several different types of devices. There's the Amazon Echo Dot, which is the least expensive device, which usually is somewhere between the $30 and $60 range. The Amazon Echo Gen 2, which is a larger version of the Amazon Echo Dot. It's taller, it's probably about six inches tall, three inches in diameter. And what it has is upgraded speakers compared to the Amazon Echo Dot. Beyond that, there's the Amazon Echo Tap, which is actually a battery powered Amazon Echo. So you can take it with you and use it as a Bluetooth speaker or, or with the Amazon Alexa functionality, when you go on a road trip. So the Bluetooth speaker sits in a base and a recharging port that you have on your countertop or near your bed, you place the Bluetooth speaker on the base, you can use it like a normal Alexa, and then when you're ready to go, you just pull it off the base and the Bluetooth speaker is fully charged. Now the next Echo is the most unique of the Echoes, that's the Amazon Echo Plus, and it includes a Zigbee smart hub internally to it so it allows you to communicate with other smart home devices like the Philips Hue light bulbs without needing to buy a Philips Hue bridge or another Zigbee bridge. We'll cover Zigbee, Z-Wave, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and some of the other home automation protocols in another episode. But you don't necessarily need an Amazon Echo Plus to control your smart home devices. You can either get a hub or many of the smart home devices can already be controlled with Wi-Fi, meaning that you don't need to have an Amazon Echo Plus. You could have a Dot, an Echo Gen 2, or any of the other Alexa devices, and it will work regardless because it's working on your Wi-Fi network. 
and not with the smart home hub built into the Echo. Now the, text, the next two devices are very interesting. They're the only two Alexa devices that have screens. There's the Amazon Echo Spot and the Amazon Echo Show. The Amazon Echo Spot has a really nice form factor. It's about four inches in diameter and it's a sphere with a screen on the front. So it has all the Alexa features of the other devices, but it has a nice touch screen on the front that can show you cards. And if you're playing a song, it will show you the lyrics and actually show those as you go through. You can use it as a clock. You can view videos on it. You can even stream Amazon Prime movies on the Echo Spot. The Echo Show does everything that the Amazon Echo Spot does, but it comes in a larger format with a better speaker and a larger screen. The Echo Show has uh, about a six inch by five inch screen. So pretty large size, you could watch movies on there comfortably and a really nice feature. The Echo Spot, and the Echo Show both have the functionality, if you have a smart camera, you can enable it so you could view that camera through your Echo. So if you wanna use a camera as a baby monitor, it's a great choice to get one of these with a screen on them. Now the last one is one of my favorites just because of its sound quality. This is not an Amazon Alexa product per se made by Amazon, but it is a partner with Amazon. And that is the Amazon or the Sonos Play speaker with Amazon Alexa built in. So what this is, is a Sonos speaker with Amazon Alexa built into it. So it has all the great sound and form factor of the Sonos speaker, but it has the smart capabilities of an Amazon Alexa. So you can say, Alexa, play my Spotify playlist and it will play your music on your Sonos with the great sound quality that Sonos is known for on your Sonos that has Amazon Alexa in it. That's a nice review of the Amazon devices, controlling your home with voice. And if you wanna learn more, go to www.onehoursmarthome.com. Thank you guys for listening today, and we're looking forward to bringing you more content in the future. If you've got questions you want us to cover on smart home automation, go ahead and email us at info at onehoursmarthome.com. We always look forward to hearing from our listeners and providing topics that you want to hear about. Now, if you could do me one more favor, go ahead and give us that five-star rating in the App Store or give us a thumbs up and like and share the One Hour Smart Home Podcast with your friends. Thank you for listening to the One Hour Smart Home Podcast. We love our listeners and your feedback. Subscribe to our email list at onehoursmarthome.com where we share with you the best smart home technology, the latest reviews, tips, and tricks to make your life better. And with that, we'll catch you in the future. Thanks for listening, and if you want to support us, visit onehoursmarthome.com, where you can find the devices that we recommend, as well as the devices that we manufacture, design, and make for you.